he was born. And it is true what they say it is immediate love. I love him. I love him so much. A bond that can truly never be broken. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Krista Bain. An emotional journey for two Fargo parents who will never get to see their son grow up. A child lost to a genetic disease the family had never even heard of. Valley News Team's Macy Anger introduces us to the Thomases. <laughs> he had a big smile there in his Ninja Turtles. Pages and pages of photos. All of the Thomases' first little one, a baby boy. He was born January 2nd of this year um, at 5.16 p.m. With not enough time. And he passed away on April 11th at 3.14. Sean and Alexandra got married two years ago, excited to start a family. We had tried for almost a year, and the day before we were going to go to the doctor to see what was going on because it you know, was taking so long, I found out I was pregnant. Sean Paul Thomas Jr. So we called him SJ. Came into the world to two ecstatic parents, they threw us a but they quickly realized something wasn't right. He wasn't lifting his head, he wasn't lifting his arms. Well, being a new mom, I was, you know, wasn't sure if that was just because he was slower um, developing and maybe he would catch up later or, you know, what was happening. The new family went to the doctor where they learned their two month old baby had spinal muscular atrophy one, the worst form of a genetic disease that causes a child's muscles to weaken and make it hard to breathe. Before a confirmation of it, right. we had looked into it a little bit just so we had an idea of what we were dealing with and it wasn't very it wasn't promising no it was scary it was horrible. sj stayed in the hospital for a month before the family decided to take him home to say goodbye he had just started like smiling at you right before we got to the hospital so we didn't get a get to experience it as much without all the tubes and stuff but his smile didn't matter. It was, you could definitely see it in his eyes. He had, he could light up a room, that's for sure. <laughs> he was wonderful. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Most definitely. The Thomases say their son opened their eyes to this disease and now hope to reach out to other parents in this struggle, even help find a cure. Macy Inger, Valley News Live. The Thomases will be holding a benefit to help other families dealing with this disease. All the information on how to help can be found on valleynewslive.com by clicking on this story.